Hello, and welcome to Code Next Door. My name is Andre. And my name is Chris. And today we'll be talking about Map, Filter, Reduce, and Common Lisp. So let's get started with Map. Map in Common Lisp is kind of strange. Uh, it's because you have Map List and Map Car. And let's talk about what those two different things are. Map List, uh, it applies a function f to the list of successive elements of the given list. So let's just talk about an example to see what that means. So if we have the list 223 and we apply the function that just literally returns whatever you give it, what do you think that might return? Well, it returns the list 223 as the first element of the list, and then the list 23 as the second element, and then the list with just the element 3 as the last element. And that's because, well, f is being applied to the list of successive elements of the given list. And in most languages, we like to apply a function to the first element of each of those lists. So what might that look like? Say we want to add one to each element of our list 223. Well, uh, because x is actually a list, we need to get the first element of that list. And we do that using the function car. So what does this return? 334. And that is what we get by adding one to the first element of each list. Huh. Now, this is such a repetitive thing that's done. Uh, in list, there's a function map car that does that exact thing. So we have the function map car and we pass it the function that takes an X and adds one to it. And we get exactly what we expect. So that's mapping and common list. Let's check out filter. So filter in, in Lisp is called remove if not. Remove if not, it takes a function that takes an element that either returns true or false, and it takes a list. So let's look at an example. Let's say we want uh, to use a function that returns true if the element is above zero. And we have a list to test that on. So if this works, we should only see the numbers one, two, three. Let's see if that works. And it does. So that's essentially how you filter things and common lists. Lastly, let's take a look at reduce. Reduce is a, a function that takes two arguments. Uh, first, the first argument it takes is a function of two arcs. It takes an element and a list, often known as an accumulator. Uh, and then the second argument is a list. So let's look at an example of that. Say we want to define a function sigma that takes a list of numbers and adds them all together. Well, we can use reduce for this. So reduce takes a function that takes two arguments. So the first argument is a number, and the second argument is a list, and add just adds those things together. So if we pass reduce a list of numbers and our add function, we should get the sum of those numbers. So if we call sigma our newly defined function here on the list one, two, three, we should see six. And we do. So last, let's try to get a little bit more complicated. We can try writing map using reduce. And I've kind of already gone ahead and done what that would look like for you. So map is a function that takes a function and a list, and it applies that function to every element in that list. So we can use reduce to actually create this function. So reduce, as its first argument, takes a function that itself accepts an accumulator and some x. So what do we want map to do? Well, we want to append whatever our accumulator already has um, to our, our, our results. And then secondly, we want to add on to that list the function called on our element. And that's it. So the key note to, to note here is that we need to start our reduce with an initial value of nothing. So that when we append to our list, we don't add anything to the empty list. Therefore, every element in this list will be the, the newly applied uh, element from the function that you apply to it. So if we want to take our example from earlier by adding one to every element in our list using our map using reduce function here, 
This should give us what we got earlier. Two, three, four. And that's map filter and reduce and common list. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, see you next time.